Good day, mate. Minga here, and welcome to Coffee Shop Reviews, a new YouTube series in which I walk around Brisbane and surrounding areas just to review coffee shops around the area and I determine how to go there based on three properties that are located in a coffee shop, the atmosphere of a coffee shop itself, and the coffee and the actual coffee shop in general, which is some um, which is some um, determined by three sub sub categories, which includes price, taste and how fast they deliver the coffee themselves. Now if you want to see more videos of videos of me walking around and reviewing coffee shops, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more new videos because I upload twice a week. First time I upload a let's play video and then the second time I will upload the coffee shop review. Now now with all that said, let's get straight into a coffee shop review. Now, the coffee shop we have been reviewing today is a Fox Coffee Roastery, which is located on the Anderson Road, t Ban, which is actually quite nice and far away from any bustling West City District or even any major suburbs. Now, because this coffee shop is actually located on a quiet industrial street, that, that actually makes for a nice and chance of pace because the atmosphere is instantly nice and welcoming because it's so quiet, there's not a lot of cars driving around, which doesn't make it a much more comfortable setting. Um, and because this is it, because the coffee shop is in an industrial area, it, the, the, the warehouse the shop is located in does have a license in industrial field, and that helps by the fact that the, the, the people that own this place at and roast their coffee beans in house. Unless we have an our coffee, we can turn and we can see someone working on the working on the roasting mission and roasting the beans to serve to us daily, which is actually a really nice set and it does help with the atmosphere of coffee shop. So that's so that's a great coffee shop, great location for a coffee shop and a great atmosphere for the coffee shop itself. But we must move on to a most important thing for this review which is a coffee shop. the moment you are having a wait for the coffee itself. So the first thing I saw while I was I saw while I was coming to a coffee shop was actually the price of a coffee. And um, boy it is really cheap when you compare it to the cafe above that I went to last week. And it's and it's actually three dollars three dollars twenty for a small piccolo for more piccolo. And the, the mark I ordered for myself was actually four dollars four dollars thirty cents. So that came out to a total of seven dollars fifty for both coffees, which is actually really cheap. Now they have a selection of savory meals, but when it comes to actual sweet sweet container, there was a lot to choose from. So that was a bit disappointing, really. But the the point of this review is the coffee itself. So when I was looking at the coffee beans they provided, I noticed that they had two different types. They had a white blend, which is um, referred to as a sweet chocolate, has a lot caramel with soft tones of toffee. But then at the same time, they had the black blend, which is basically a big body of dark chocolate, spice, caramel, and blessing with the cheese and red, cheese and red fruit acidity. Now this is interesting that they have two different types of blends, but um, the real details comes can be allowed actually taste the coffee myself, with and that article actually tell which blend they used. Now before I actually get to tasting, I'll talk a bit about how fast it took for our coffee to come out. Keep in mind that this was actually this was near closing time, so there were a lot of people, but there was still getting orders. So it was a, so it was a bit actually pleasant to know that 
the coffees, the coffees are uh, already actually come out within three minutes, which is which is actually really good speed, and they are, they are really efficient service right here as well, so that's great. And finally, tasting the coffee myself, I was surprised at how sweet, how sweet and smooth the coffee itself tasted. There was too much, there was too much foam on top of my mocha, which is actually a big plus, even though I like that. But it, it is not too overwhelming, and it actually is sweet, which tells me that they used the right blend, the right beans to blend in their own coffee to serve us, which is really sweet. But um, I feel that if we had, if we had tasted the dark beans, it would be a bit more bitter, and that's okay. So in a way, this is a really nice coffee, nice and smooth, so nice and smooth, with some really nice, with some really efficient and efficient surface, and efficient surface, and a really good location, and it's cheap as well. So I guess if you want, if you want cheap and please consider going to visit Fats Coffee Noise too. That is it for another coffee something review video. And I hope you like what you saw, and I hope you're crazy to visit, visit in the coffee shop now that I've heard my thoughts about it. Now, now, if you like what you watch, please leave a like or subscribe down below. And if you have a coffee shop that you want me to visit, please comment me the name and comment, comment the coffee shop. And I'll be sure to include it in, my, in one of my next reviews. And I hope to see you all in the next videos. Goodbye, mates.